My view is that it is indeed the case that first movers do need to receive an extra level of incentivization because they are taking some of the, uh, the upfront risk and uncertainty and doing, frankly, some of the heavy lifting for them, those who come behind. But I think that if we were to roll out a, a very large nuclear program at those kind of prices, there would be a very significant impact on electricity affordability going forward. So my view is that one should not generalize from that first single project observing a price of £92.50. I don't think that will be typical, personally, of the nuclear renaissance to come. When we look at the global picture, um, where does the UK stand in terms of nuclear? Well, I think that the, um, you know, you know, the UK is receptive to inward investment, finance and technology to help deliver our energy future to keep our lights on in Britain. Simultaneously, we are blessed, and I'm you know, here as guest of the Institution of Engineering and Technology. Now, we are a highly capable technical nation with great strength in engineering that can help meet global challenges. So we are you know, able to export our knowledge and experience in delivering this globalized nuclear renaissance that I referred to earlier. You know, we are not you know, offering up yet another 1.5 gigawatt power station in competition with the many good products in the market. No, and we shouldn't do that. But we are able to contribute a whole range of engineering services. And as I said at the end of my lecture, we also have some good ideas up our sleeve about how we might contribute to some technologies of the far future. So uh, we are part of this global future.